So the idea is, the exercise is to get a fingerprint. So you have a dead body in a, in a house, let's say, and the parts that's, that's exposed to the elements, you know, the hands and the feet and the face, they, it'll turn like leather. So the thumb is going to look like that, all hard. It's going to be uh, leathery and hard. There's no way you can get a print from there. So the exercise is to do that, to flatten it out and be able to get a print. Now, one way it's frowned upon here in San Francisco, but sometimes you have to remove the, the thumb. That's the very last resort. You're going to take the thumb off at the, at the digit there. This is a thumb. It looks like a thumb. Sure, there's the fingernails. So there's the thumb, and the thumb is like this. No way that's going to go on a card. So what you do is, real simple, you have a, a container. You used to have these big old crocs back in Vancouver. Put formaldehyde in there, and you put salt. Dab of salt. No pepper, just salt. Put the salt in that to keep it buoyant. Put it in there for about 10 days. Come back, take the th thumb out. You've got rubber gloves on, of course. Well, most of the time. And very gently and daintily, you, you, don't, want it, you don't want to destroy the ridges um, that's on there. And now it's all nice and flat, and there you go. You got your pr print. The other one is if the people are in the water, um, the, the, you have a term called washerwoman hands, so you're probably going to get a good print from someone that's been in the ocean. However, they have to be retrieved from the ocean, and you have people who really don't know, but they, their, their um, exercise is to get that body in the water and, and uh, into the boat. So sometimes when they're grabbing the hands, um, they'll touch the hands and the skin will come off, a skin slip, so like a glove. And it'll stay on, if you're lucky, by where the fingernails are. So you, sometimes you won't lose it, but again, it comes off and it, it's torn off and you, you don't, you've lost the print. But occasionally you can put it back on. Or if it's difficult to put it back on the thumb, you might be left with the skin, just like a glove. And you'll take the piece of the thumb and very gently put it onto your own thumb or put it you know, and then get your print. Put the ink on there and put that there. And as we're in my kitchen here, um, that's the end of this lesson. Next week I'll show you how to make a chicken casserole. <laughs>